Welcome back, everyone. Grim the Nurture here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. And if you're wondering why I'm starting the game paused, it's because I was dumb. That's the, basically the answer to that question. I thought I had stopped the game in a safe place. I have not stopped the game in a safe place. There's a zombie um, running at me, so I figured I should start pause the game and start the game up before... Um, we start you guys watching me up before I started this, so let's, uh, let's get away from this zombie. How about you? Oh, well, there's two of you. Oh, there's even more of you. All right, let's uh, let's just back up here for a second. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to go in here for a minute. I'm gonna close this door too, so that I can uh, can re recombobulate myself for a second. All right, let's get the uh, let's get ourselves all situated here. We already moderately exerted, and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. If we're going to undertake our project for the day, we're going to need to rest. So let's take a seat. Nope, no sleeping. Resting. Actually, you know what? Let's actually sleep. I'm just going to sleep for two hours. 9 a.m. Go to sleep to 11. Boom. Solve a lot of our problems. Alright, so let's get things in order here. We need our shotgun. My goal is to mostly do this this project, which, if you didn't watch last episode, is going to be to burn as many of the zombies that are in the parking lot as possible. That's our project. I need these three shotgun boxes of shotgun shells. I need uh, a packet of beta blockers, probably not two, just one. Alright, so we got our shotgun, we got our beta blockers, we got shells. Can we open one of these boxes and not be overloaded? Yes, okay, good. Alright, my goal is not to actually use really use the shotgun today, but we might end up having to do it. Also, I want the alarm clock. So I hear somebody. What is happening? Something just happened. What just happened? really know what happened. I hit some sort of weird button. Oh, I unequipped my axe. That's what happened. So <laughs> my fingers were off of the, of the proper keys and hit the wrong thing. So if we set this alarm clock, let's set time before explosion. Um, it's just an alarm clock, dude. So let's just chill out. It's not an explosion. You out here? Hello. Wow. Two of them in one shot. That's well done. Nicely done. And another axe. Let's throw that on the ground. So we can see it later. Actually, I can't see that at all. Alright, we're gonna pick this up and we'll go put it over on the floor. Yep, yep, yep. This one. Yeah, throw it on the ground. So we know that it's there for later. Don't have time to hold it right now, though. Oh, hello. There we go. All right. There's one more in this area. All right. So the goal today is to get the fire started and start causing a ruckus. So I'm gonna set the alarm clock for that is seconds before. That is not what I wanted. I was hoping to actually be able to set the alarm clock for an actual time. Okay. Well, whatever. Why did I just do that? Alright, so we need to get back to our fire pit, which is over here somewhere. It's near where all those zombies are dead. And start the fire. And then we're going to place the alarm clock on the ground. And my hope is that the fire, that the alarm clock brings all the all the uh, boys to the yard, um, or at least the zombies to the fireplace. But first, we got to get there. So take you out. That lady is not actually on us. I thought she was for sure on us. 
All right. Gonna have to take these two for sure. All right, you. Come here. All right, so we light the fire. The newspaper. And then we... Set time before explosion, 10 seconds. And we place the alarm clock on the ground. And we get the hell out of there. Come on. Go, alarm clock, go. I think maybe I've made it too long. Maybe it went off already and I just didn't hear it. Alright, maybe I messed something up. I'm afraid the fire's gonna go out before the alarm clock goes off. Alright, alarm clock, what's your deal? Alright, we'll do this a different way. There we go. My alarm clock. Actually, go off, please. I feel like something's wrong with this alarm clock. There it goes. And it's not doing shit. Alright, well. Didn't really want to do it this way. But you've, uh. You made it necessary. I don't want to waste this fire. That's what I wanted right there. That'll bring everybody in the tri-state area to the fire. Switch back to our... Come on. Really? This is not having the desired effect that I wanted. I feel like I must... I need to stop coming up with these plans, these overly complicated plans, because they never seem to really work, do they? Hey guys, come on. I need you to, I need at least one of you to get in the fire. Dude. Come on, walk through the fire, lady. Come on. There we go. Did you, there you are. I say, I need at least one of you to catch on fire, or this whole project is for didn't work. Alright. Equip both hands. Alright, we're gonna have to... Clearly I didn't do this properly. Did you people not hear the damn noise? I try to be clever. Nobody wants clever, apparently. Zombies are not interested in clever. Oh, I did not really want to destroy our one zombie that was on fire. There we go. Some more zombies are on fire now. Let's take some more beta blockers. This is not nearly as many zombies as I thought would be over here. Oh, that's, that is not loaded. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. That was a little scary. Alright, so now we're getting a... We're getting somewhere here. It's not exactly what I was... This wasn't not as clever as my plan was supposed to be, but whatever. Whatever. 
Zombies, as it turns out, don't give a shit about Clever. Switch back to our axe here. Whoops. No, I actually want my axe. Thank you. Alright, now we just kind of have to babysit them while they burn out. Except for these two that are coming right at my face. See if we can bring them in through the fire. Well, that one's going to walk through the fire, maybe? 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 There you go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't catch me on fire. Oh, that would be bad. Yes, there is a... Not nearly as many zombies in this parking lot as there sh seems like there should be, but whatever. I wonder if they tone this area down a little bit in this build. Alright, I'm gonna let those zombies do their thing overnight. And we're gonna head back into the into the uh, movie theater. Boy, that was a bad swing. Luckily, I didn't get hit. That was just dumb luck. All right, we have to take these. The zombies that are on fire are not allowed in the movie theater. Nobody on fire is allowed in the movie theater. It's right there in the rules. Please die. Can't get close to you, or else the fire will get me, but... Oh, 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 that was close. Oh man, that was really close. Oh, we got some stuff ready here. Maintenance, and let's do both of these here. Alright, nobody on fire appears to be coming towards the movie theater, that's good. Let's head back inside. We'll spend the night and then reevaluate in the morning. Let's go into the concessions area. We haven't been in this section of the. Deal with these zombies. Don't feel they really feel like we need to save our axe all that much, but why not do it a little bit, huh? Hello, folks. Can I get you? Nope. Can't get you in one place where I can get you both at once. Yep. More zombies over here than I thought. Wish I could jump the counter. I can, however, loot the counter from the other side. Doesn't really save us a whole lot, considering zombies up in our face while we're trying to do it, but maybe. Where's that? Alright, there's a bag of chips. We'll eat that. Ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. I'll scream for ice cream. Alright. All right, nobody on fire is approaching the moon. Yeah, sorry. We're okay. Okay. Hello, lady. Another skill point. I feel like maybe they rebalance skill points too. I feel like I'm earning them faster than I'm spending them this time. Which has never been the case for me. Still half condition, huh? Alright, so. It seems like good work for this particular day. So we're gonna go back to one of these things. And tomorrow, I guess we'll make our first approach to the mall. slept before, yeah. Anything in the refrigerator worth eating? Mustard? Or a worm? Alright, so let's waste a little bit of time here. Get to like 1730 maybe?
and we'll sleep. I don't want to, I know our sleepy head usually lets him sleep a lot, but I don't know exactly how much it will let us sleep. Sleep. Seven hours. He's asleep, but he's panicked. Another seven hours? Yeah, that'll work. Now, hopefully, most of the zombies have burnt out. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Thought I was going to uh, get into a coughing fit there for a second, but we seem to have avoided it. Now, hopefully, most of the zombies have burnt out. The ones that were in the uh, in the outside area, parking lot. That's what the most people would call it who aren't crazy. But we'll see. Um, apparently no is the answer to the question of the most of the zombies will have burnt out. I guess it has reduced their population some. It's not as much as I hoped. This lady is just cruising towards me. Nope, nope. Um, guess I was mistaken. She wasn't heading towards me. She was just... Running around. Really, those zombies were far enough away that they did not burn out overnight. I feel like the zombies get unloaded from the game way too quickly. The distance from you before they um, unload them is a little excessive. Excessively small is what I mean by excessive. Try not to upset any of the fire zombies, because I would prefer them not to follow me into the mall. Because getting to the mall is not going to be all that helpful if, uh, <laughs> if it burns down immediately. Uh. Alright, so that's, all the, that's the last group of the fire zombies, probably. This is one of those places where you really feel the fact that there's no vehicles in the game. Like, I don't really want to drive a car. I don't think this game is designed for it. I don't think it would work very well. But it would be nice to have a few derelict cars around, just like cluttering up the place. Maybe be able to search their trunks. Something along those lines. Now we're getting there. I wonder how full it'll be inside. The only time I've ever been in the mall is in that, uh, the challenge. The, I can't remember what it's called. Whatever the, the challenge is that involves with the mall. So I don't really know what the zombie populations look like in there. Under normal circumstances. About to find out. Magazine. Alright, so there's doors up this way. I wonder if there are, like, service doors somewhere, because I would prefer to not go in the front door, but... I don't really want to walk all the way around the damn thing. So I think these windows are actually secure in the sense that they've got the the chain like the the uh the chain link stuff on them. They can't actually break. I know they break in that challenge, but I think that's special for the challenge, but if anybody else knows, they can let me know cuz I'm curious. So, busy not crazy, though. Well, maybe a little crazy. Uh, 
I bet over time, assuming the zombies didn't completely respawn in here, which they would. Um, actually, I wonder. There was a rule. When they described how the new systems would work that determined where zombies would spawn, they said that the zombie spawner algorithm takes a... Oh, that's swinging the right way. Um, starts at the edge of the map and tries to draw a line around the map to wherever it wants to go, but it can't go through um, closed doors and things like that. And so the implication being Oh, we actually have a lot of food in here. Um, implication being that if you actually have someplace secured, and that you can't go past the doors, open doors, open windows, etc., that it wouldn't spawn any more zombies. So I wonder if you could close up the mall tight, like barricade doors, whatnot, um, if you could actually secure it so that it wouldn't be more respawn inside the mall. I wonder if that's a thing that would actually work. I guess I know there were rounds on that zombie. Let's go behind the scenes. Um, how much time? Yeah, we're actually gonna, I'm gonna put a cut here. Um, so I'll see you guys next time.